Hello, my name is Edwin. I'm a developer here at Confusio, and I'm going to give you an overview of our version 3 API, which allows you to alter projects, documents, labels, and label sets. Once we are through this video, you should have learned how to create a new project, upload a new document, apply a human annotation, and get back all that information through the API. After logging into Confusio to confusio.com, you can find a link to the API in the top right corner. Depending on when you are watching this video, you will either be redirected to the version 2 API or the version 3 API. If you find yourself on the version 2, just change the URL to free 3 This video is broken up into chapters. If at any moment you want to skip ahead or use timestamps as future references, just look at the description below and go to the section that is most relevant to you. All the information covered in this video is also available in our developer's guide, which gets updated with each new release. You can find the guide at dev.confusio.com. First things first, before you can make any calls to our API, you do need to authenticate, which if you navigated from the Confusio login, as in this video, already has happened behind the scenes. However, when using any other API client, Authentication has to happen first. You can find more information regarding API authentication in the Confusio Developer's Guide. Let's start. Before we can upload documents, we need to have a project to which we can upload our documents to. I'm going to show you how this is done in our API Swagger interface. By navigating to the Project tab in the interface, you can see all available API methods. By clicking on any particular method, you can also view its schema and required values for a request. For project creation, the only required value is name. Let's create a new project. After sending our request, you can now see that the API has returned as a 201 status alongside details about our created project. We can now use the project's ID to retrieve, alter, or delete the project. But later on, we also need this project ID for documents, categories, AIs, and labels. After creating the project in the API, you can now also view its details in the Confusio interface. After creating the project, we can already upload documents. These will be assigned to the default category, which is equal to the project's name. For this video example, I'm going to create a new category of receipts, which are going to be the type of documents which we will upload later. Creating a category is just as simple as creating a project, but we do need to have the project ID to assign our categories to. After sending our request, you can now see that the API returns a successful 201 response. After the category has been created, you can also find it back in the interface. Now that we have created a project and a category, we can start creating labels. For this particular project, we will be uploading receipts, and we are going to label the value total and tax. For this, we need the category ID and the project ID. Let's grab the project ID and the category ID that we just created and create these two labels. The next thing we are going to do is create a label set. A label set is a grouping of labels per document. For example, the label of total and tax may create a label of product pricing, while for another document, let's say another type of receipt, just tax and total may not be sufficient. But also, product and the amount of products would be needed. This would create another label set. For now, we only need total and tax. Navigating to the label set section, I can see that the name and project is required. But we also did create two labels, and I'm going to paste their IDs.
We now have created a label set, and with this, the basic setup has been done and we can continue to documents. I'm going to upload the document with the API. For this, I need a document, the project ID and a category ID. I'm going to use the ones which we created a while ago. Now that we have uploaded the document, we can see that it's being processed here in the Confuse CU interface. When retrieving this document's details in the API, we also already get the OCI extracted text returned. While the OCI extraction is automatic, because we have not yet trained an extraction AI, the labeling still has to happen manually for this document. While speeding up this video, I'm going to quickly train an AI for extraction. On our YouTube channel and in the developer's guide, you can find more information on how to train an AI yourself. Now that we have annotated a few documents, what is left is setting the document status to training and then assigning these documents to our AI so it can train on the data. To start the training of an extraction AI, all that is left now is to assign the AI to a category which has enough trained documents. Once this category is assigned, the AI will automatically start training. Once an AI has been trained on a category, newly uploaded documents will automatically be labeled after being uploaded. To give you a good example, I'm now going to upload a document to our project with a trained extraction AI. While this is being uploaded, Extraction happens in the background and labeling as well. After our extraction AI has automatically labeled our newly uploaded documents, we can retrieve the annotated labels and their values through the API. Let's recap what has been laid out here in this video. First, we authenticated. We then created a new project. We created a category in our project. We created two labels in our category. We created a label set and assigned our two labels to this label set. We uploaded the document to our project and specified the category. We manually annotated several documents as training data. We used the manually annotated documents to train our extraction AI. And finally, we uploaded a new document, which then was automatically labeled by our AI. From this point on, we can upload new documents to our API and let the extraction AI do its work. In the API, we can retrieve all the document's contents and its AI annotated labels.
If you need any other information, head over to the Confusio Developers Guide at dev.confusio.com or send us an email at support at confusio.com. Thanks a lot for your time and goodbye.